you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Thank you, the one who's called I am who I am. The God of the Israelites. The God of Israel. Yes, our God. Your God, child of God. God bless you. We love you so much. Will you God bless you today? Open your heart to the word of God. Open your spirit to the word of God. God is spirit. Say hallelujah. Praise God. Apostle Daniel and I, we appreciate you people. God, we tell you the truth. We are saying the truth. That's why we stood up. When God said, I'm calling you for my people. I'm calling you for nation. We say, yes, Lord, let your will be done. Having that cross over us. Sometimes not so funny. The cross is not meant to be easy. Jesus Christ, he paid the price of the cross of Gogota. Hallelujah. He got a cross on him for you and me. He paid the price for you to come out of slavery. For you to come out of that slavery you are going to. Which kind of slavery is it? We are going to read the word of God. But before we go into the word of God, people of God, I want to speak about the young man, an occultic boy. I do not know that man. His name is J. Israel. How I got to know that boy or this young man? There's a lady that follows this ministry. She prayed for us. Hallelujah. And she sent the email. We shared the email with you. Hallelujah. And she said, please pray for that man. He came out of the occultist. After we have been exposing many fake prophets, fake pastor and priests, and we say many will come out and confess. So what I want to tell you, when I say to pray for him, it's not to say that he is, he is delivered. No, he's confessing. He need to confess. When you repent, you confess. And you abandon what you are doing. And it's not easy. So he needs your prayer. He needs our prayer. Say amen. Pray for him. Now you begin to go to him. He pray for you. He deposit what is it? He within him. He's not delivered. He's speaking, yes, but he's not free. So he needs your prayer. Your intercession for God's grace to release him completely. So do not misunderstand what I share. I said to pray for him. I do not say he's free. So stop going to him. Pray. He needs deliverance. I want to speak for Bola. Bola, I don't know if you are Muslim. We pray for people that are Muslim here for decades. So Bola had a backslide. He came back to Jesus Christ. Praise God. So this ministry, the way God uses us, is to touch the heart of people. So you will see, so come on, we are perfect professor. So people so just preach the gospel. Because anyone can preach, can preach the word of God. But when God uses you, it will expose. Hallelujah. To plant, expose. Hallelujah. So we praise the name of Jesus Christ for you, Bola. We rejoice and I believe and I know and you know angels are rejoicing in heaven. God loves you. I have another message for Yelena and Natalia. To Wednesday, almost a week, all week, I felt the power of God, the power of Holy Ghost, and I begin to cry oh, so much. Stay in the light of God. Meditate in the word of God. We advance in this ministry. You two sisters, princess of God. It won't be easy. He had not said it will be easy to follow him. But at the end, it's a light. Out of the, the end of the tunnel, there's the light. Every word that we pronounce, we prophesy over you shall come to pass. Only if you remain in the light of God. And you leave sin in the name of Jesus Christ. I have another announcement. People of God, we need your financial support. Right now, we're 5,000 kuna, 10,000 kuna, 20,000 kuna, millions we need to move on in this mystery. We can see how God uses. I want to speak for our people in America. 500 US dollars, 5,000 US dollars, millions US dollars. So we will be able to come out and begin to go to Croissant. People need to hear the good news. Not only sitting here in Norway. Hallelujah. We have so many invitations in Africa. But none of them pay the, 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 the plane ticket, the hotel. They are poor people. This is the truth at the rough orphanage. So please let God touch your heart this Sunday. Let God touch your heart. And I want to speak to Paris Dante. You are from Nigeria. This is the last time with my. This is the warning for you. Do not follow this ministry. 
if your heart is not from here. When we ask, when we ask people to donate, she come, she come, we excuse me, the, the currency. You close your mouth, you shut up, and you leave this ministry. I am Annie Hagiri. I speak, this is my mouth. I say, you shut up. Hallelujah. When your people are standing and fighting to, to, to keep the gospel, to keep the ministry, people are, in, are getting free. People are getting rescued. You come, you ask for people. When you put such coming, they don't give for Africa. A couple from Malawi, they give. They don't come, you excuse for the currency. Are you a certain God in this ministry? This is the last time. Say, your name is Paris Dante. If you do not like what I'm saying, or like this ministry and go. We have many other gentlemen of God. Go and play in the ministry. A ministry is a, um, a, a, a non-profit. We are non-profit. We need financial support. Jesus Christ, people gave, and the one that was wicked, Judah is carried He was the one taking care of the money. You, because you don't like to give. And he stole the money. He was stealing money from there. You were that person. Yes. Wait, wait it's wrong to receive um, support for the ministry. Journalists, organizations, eh, companies, they need support. Money, we need money. Money. Hallelujah. So we can move on and do the work that God has called us to do. So we are begging people in, a, in, a, we have people in Brazil, France, Sweden. Hallelujah. Florence gave 200 kuna. She got 100 before and I sent money back. Why? Because she's a student. And she told me she really wants to give. She said, woman, okay, take what I give. I said, no, you are a student. So we are not after your, mil your money. We need to work. And I have six kids for me to remain in the vision. I need your support. For a person that to remain in the vision, we need financial support. You understand it? Hallelujah. So God bless you. Let's go in the word of God. So last week. God directed me to, uh, the, the, to, to the book of Exodus. Open your Bible. You take your Bible. You don't just look at me. You open. You take your Bible. You look at me. You and me. We open our Bible. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to parle de la servitude. La servitude. I want to speak about slavery. So what is 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 a, is a slave? You see people working in the society, but they're slave in the working place. They're slave in the family. They're slave from from um, for cars, any kind of car from family generation curses. You don't understand why you can't manage to do things, but you feel the capacity. You feel the potential within you, but something is blocking you. You are just a slave. Seven. So open the word of God and go. Exodus chapter 2 from verse 23. I will read where God said, The Israelites groan in the slavery and cry out. You need to learn to cry out. You need to learn to cry out. Today, what is African people, American people do or criticism? To be an archer, this means you take the star, I mean the destiny of somebody next, and walk in it. You, you live in glory, you know, you receive favor from somebody next. And you see people are suffering. They can't manage to accomplish their study. They can't manage to get married. Even they get married, this just goes, goes, it just a big mess. Hallelujah. Oh, people of God, why are speaking like that? I have someone within me. That's why my, heart, my mouth is speaking that way. I have someone to share with you, people of God. You suffer in your family. They minimize you. They undermine you. So I want to share a testimony. We are Pastor Daniel. There's a, a man, a Muslim, right now from Pakistan. Bilal. He spoke to Apostle Daniel many years ago. They were steady. He said, in my family, there are doctors, there are millionaires, there are education. Oh, they mock me. But people have got something happened. That Muslim understood that Apostle Daniel was a real man of God. And he told him one day, I can't manage, I want to pass my exam. Pray that I pass the exam with mathematics whatsoever. And Apostle Daniel was in the sky. He said, what are you asking me? I'm asking you to ask your wife. To pray for me and Muslim. Oh, like I say, the first will be the last, and the last will be the first. How many of you follow this ministry? We are not fast and pray. You won't just prophesy. I receive, receive from comments when they comment my makeup. I don't have a makeup artist. 
or your brands. You have to be perfect. Look your mouth. God is looking your heart. When I come out, I'm not coming out to show my clothes. I'm coming to show who who sent me out, Jesus Christ. You look my clothes. You look my bags, my home. You are not looking for Jesus Christ. That's why our cats are deceiving you. Now Shepherd Bishu is going to prison. Maybe they will shoot you. We say surrender. We are in the last call. This is the last call of God you know. And you can't even share our videos. Because you know we are real. Come out of slavery today. Come out of slavery. In Jesus Christ's name. You ain't know I see people taking drugs. You see take people walking in the street with depression. You know where many people are doing witchcraft. TV to show that the, 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 those uh, medium. A medium is something good person. It's a witch. They can't promote Christian. Have you seen us in TV here? They can't. But we are not here. They can't. They lack darkness. The world lack darkness. Slavery. Come out. Nowhere from slavery. The light of God is coming to destinies. Look what is happening to America. We prophesied. I want you to read the, read the book of Exodus because I know this, we can make a long video. The word of God declare in Exodus 2 that God heard the cry of the children of Israel. God has heard your cry. I'm some turkey God. People are getting a, 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 a surprise. Oh, this is happening to my life. You begin to feel light. You begin to feel light. Deliverance. You do another job that you are not supposed to do because you, are, you have to for, to survive. But you are supposed to be somebody next. I want to tell you 2021, God will release destinies. Because God has heard your cry as a slave. La servitude, sans la servitude. Come out of slavery. Come out, I came out of slavery. I was beaten by my mom. My mom called me a desire shot. But I, she told me, you are in desire shot. My mom used me. I have been recognized by a father, her boyfriend at that time. He recognized me like a child. That's why I'm a French citizen. And my mom told me that in the end, I have been using you to have my, my, my paper in front to become French. I said, what? And she told me, you can't leave. I was a slave. Oh my God. I was a slave. If you look my eye, you see a mark on the finger of my mom. She took the knife. She said, I will kill you. And I said, what I have done? I said, I never desire you. I have been using you to have French citizen paper. The woman that gave birth to me, I was a slave. I went to the church, people of God. The prophet, every time when you see me, he was tears in his eyes. And I was asking, but what is this man crying you everywhere? Every day when he see me, every time he see me. Hallelujah, younger youth going to school. He told me one day after prayer was maybe uh, one Thursday or Tuesday. He said, Something will take place in your life. Be strong. This is your deliverance. I came out of slavery. I will leave you my mom. I saw when it come to the spiritual realm, I knew who my mom was. She do not belong to the light of God. I was afraid people of God. She told me one morning, nobody will believe your testimony. No one. Because it's the physical, you can't believe. These people walk in the spiritual. But I came out of the slavery that one night. My mom was beating me. I'm talking to you. I share my testimony today. Because the Holy Spirit directed me. I wasn't supposed to speak about my testimony. But God began to prepare my heart for you, young girl. For you, young man. For you, old women, women, old man. You see, you can't make it. But God is about to restore your destiny. It's not too late. God is about to restore your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama asked me one night to leave her apartment. I begin to jubilate. People are on all the apartment looking for my clothes. I didn't even care. And I throw my clothes in the in the uh, outside. And I heard it was in the night. And the neighbor would reach me. Say, this is not your mom. Say, she's my mom. You say you are lying. I said, she's my mom. My mom was beating me so badly. And she was telling me, you look like your Dad, your math. I mean, my biological dad. So, because I look like him, she had that head place. When I heard and I never came back. People of God. That nobody was late in the night. And I was praying tears. And I was, I was praising God alone in the streets. Everybody was sleeping. 
and younger. And the car, I said, God, save me. If you are with me, save me. And the man came with the car. And before this even happened, a young woman in 2006 in the church, she said, she had the revelation, she said, I did something twice. And my prof, the prophet, my church, my pastor, and her, he said, if something happened, you have, my door will be open for you. That same very night, I said to the man, just bring me in Paris, I have a friend, there's a door for me. And I, 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 I narrate to him my story. The man had tears, and again, who is a Muslim. Okay, why people of God? People of God have chagrin. I have chagrin. People of God have chagrin. People of God have chagrin. So I want you to read the book of Exodus. When God, when God spoke to Moses, what happened? Is that God is speaking to my people of Israel? I'm going to bring deliverance, freedom. God to God speak to Pharaoh. I want you to speak to the fire on your heart, in your of your life today. I'm seeing a man of God. I we are seeing spiritual battle. We are seeing giant demon. Really, God's dealing with them. Hallelujah. Speak to the fire on and ask you to let you go. Let go your 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 health, your money, your husband, your kids, your conquer, your job. Say fire come on in the name of Jesus. Let go my destiny. Yes. Somebody in the family holding your destiny. Somebody as a friend is holding your destiny. You don't even know. When we ask you, when you go to those church, be careful that they don't put their hands over your head. Instead of the word of God declared, they have to put hands. Because you don't believe. Now, nah, many are robber. Or cut and touch your head and remove your destinies. Why do you want to listen the voice to a, of a prophetess? Say, man. Now, I wonder to tell you something. When God showed in the bush, that the burning, burning bush. And then Moses came, he said, what is this? And God said, stop there. Hallelujah. When God spoke to Moses. Moses said to God, I don't know how to, to speak. I don't, I'm not eloquent. God knows that you are not eloquent. God knows you can be a CEO. But he want to make you a CEO. You want to make you great. But you look at yourself today. Do not look your condition today. I'm telling you, destiny will take place. And I prophesy in the name of Jesus, you will see destiny be revealed. Many destiny have been hidden. I saw it in my own eyes. And I share it with you. Five days ago, people have got to saw it. And I saw the light of God begin to get to uh, 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 put light in the, the stars. These are destinies. Trust God. Even you are in the streets. You don't have nice house. You are miserable. For people here in Norway, they go to Nav, Wasueva. People don't believe you any longer. They don't believe your, your business. They don't believe your mother any longer. They don't believe you can have the foot of the womb. Oh my God, destiny will be revealed. Destiny will be revealed. Look what happened in America with prophesy. Even the Supreme Court, they, they, they can't. But what happened? The 10th flail sign. God said, they will be. He said, God speak to the Pharaoh. Oh, ask him to release my people. What happened? It didn't, it didn't, it didn't just happen once, right? Say amen. When I want to go say release my people. We have an election in America. Give the result, the, the fraud. Do you want to, to, to deliver the people of America just like that? The Pharaoh will resist. So I want you to read the word of God. Listen what God says. Oh, people of God. Listen, listen. Listen. But I know this is God, eh? But I know this is chapter 3. Verse 19. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand compels him. Oh, for do not come to get that victory. You need the power of God. You need the hands of God. How many signs before the victory? We prophesy do not come away. Now, have a shot, me, people of God. Please be patient. Victoria, you can like a book. Hallelujah. I'm asking my daughter to make noise because I'm working in the ocean. That's six. Can you believe it? But when there was a can afford to release the victory on a time they fight, the Supreme Court can't. Now, they're in the front of the Red Sea. But God will divide the Red Sea. Now it looks like there's no hope for America. Now it looks like God has lied. Yes. 
How many times people say that we lied to this ministry? How many people say that first prophecy when they saw every step or the evidence of this prophecy? The currency, a currency of the, that they quite, I don't know how to say it in English, how real the, the prophecy is and true. Because they want to see the end. Say amen! So, as a youth president, President Donald Trump, God will open the Red Sea for you. I am Annie Heigerit. Prophetess Annie Heigerit. Moses said when I will speak to Pharaoh, he will ask me which God, who God, who, who are you? He said, God tell me I am. Who I am. So God want America to know who he is. Many American people are sleeping. Many American people have forgotten God. So he want to show his mighty hands. He will show you that he's greater than the supercon. He's greater than Democrat people. He's greater than the media. He's greater than the corrupt people. How many people have done the corruption? You don't. You have no idea. So when you look everything before you see it's impossible. He is who he is. I am who I am. So I want to, because I can make a long video, to read the book of Exodus. Read it carefully and you will see who God is. There's no words immediately that Pharaoh did not let go. It's right just like that. Then, ten, ten signs. You as a child of God, you have to trust God. And the Bible teaches in the book of Exodus, many fell in the desert. Many abandoned even Moses. They begin to worship another god. The, uh, the, the cloth, the golden cloth. They say, no, we don't believe your god anymore. Look, how many, how many people unlike us? They say, no, your prophecy is not coming to pass. Because you are not a child of God. And when they give you prophecy, if anything they happen, a pen, so for you hit you like that. Oh, no, it wasn't from God. You don't know we were by faith, not by sight. And God had to prove who he is. Also, God needs to purify your heart. You lack too much prophecies. Say amen. So I want to encourage you. If you didn't take time to fast, you can start fasting, maybe five days or ten days, and continue your fast in January. You know, you know Christmas coming, we take about food and a celebration with the family. Open your heart to God. I want to speak to young girls. Stop fornicating young boys. Take all your destiny because 2021 should not pass you by by that. And I want to warn all the occurs, the wish doctors that that are taking the destiny. You know, the wish doctor have to take somebody in their destiny to bless those who come get give money to them. I don't know if you understand. When somebody consult the wish doctor, he said, I will, I will make you wish. No, they must st still for somebody in to give you. So I want to say, God will stop it. Hallelujah. And those, they will begin to remove destiny out of the house of the, 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 the detractor, the, the arm robot, the, the thief. And I want to ask again, a man and a woman I have been with the man of God for three years, asking them to really to stop doing occultism and killing people and killing and, and, and stealing. Look what happened across of Gogota when Jesus Christ was there with two, two thieves. Hallelujah. The voleur. Hallelujah. Once he remembered One was a second Jesus Christ. But once he remembered me. And God said, tonight, today, this very day. Oh, you will be with me. Jesus of God. You are sinner like me. Let God, let us God to remember us. Remember, remember me. Ask God to remember you. You sinner ask. Me too, I am a sinner. I ask God. When I am weak, I ask God, remember, not so weak, to make him paradise. Hallelujah, your heart. Ask God to remember you. Open your heart today to God's word. Believe in his word. He is who he is. The mighty word of Judah. The mighty word of Israel. Say amen. Your destiny will shine. You will begin to see things happening to your life. I hope people of God. Do not doubt God. It's now that you have to hold on. When this look like is I look this look impossible. When this look like no, just forget. It's now you need to begin to pray. Say me. So stretch your hands with me. Have faith in God, people of Israel. Have faith in God, shall have God, son of God. It's time to believe. It's time to believe. 
You are alone with God. You are alone with God. Franchement, we speak in tongues. Pray with me, pray with me, pray with me, pray with me, destiny restoration, destiny restoration, I call your destiny out, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God will leave you, God will leave you up right now, God deliver you right now, I say in the name of Jesus, no matter who is holding your destiny, your blessing, oh hallelujah, I'm going to say that there's a fire coming. There's a fire to consume me. Fire. I said to consume me. Fire. Now, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, wheresoever they put your destiny, wheresoever they hide your destiny, let there be light right now. Let there be light right now. When you go, fire. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we give the praise, we give the glory. Praise God in Jesus Christ's name.